In the year of the city 2274, the remnants of human civilization live in a sealed city contained beneath a cluster of geodesic domes, a utopia run by a computer that takes care of all aspects of life, including reproduction. The citizens live a hedonistic lifestyle but, to prevent overpopulation, everyone must undergo the rite of carousel when they reach the age of 30. There, they are killed under the guise of being renewed. To track this, each person is implanted at birth with a life clock crystal in the palm of the left hand that changes color as they get older, and begins blinking as they approach their last day. Most residents accept this chance for rebirth, but those who do not and attempt to flee the city are known as runners. An elite team of policemen known as Sandmen, outfitted in predominantly black uniforms, are assigned to pursue and terminate runners as they try to escape. We meet Logan 5 and Francis 7, being dicks to their clones, trying to wake them up, causing them to cry. The two then join a crowd that are headed to a carousel rite. After taking their seats, we see persons dressed in white, forming a circle around a large crystal as the onlookers cheer on. They remove their hoods to reveal creepy-looking masks and suits with red flames, before a bright light surrounds them. They begin to float up towards another crystal in the ceiling and begin to burst into flames on by one, as everyone around them cheer the word renew. During the rite, Logan is alerted to the presence of a runner and he and Francis Seven begin to give chase. They begin to toy with the runner, which is definitely some sort of human rights violation before Logan puts him out of his misery. Logan then finds an ank necklace among his possessions before a flying cleanup crew comes, spraying the body which causes it to dissolve into nothing. Later Logan is at his lavish home, he plays Tinder in real life, until he gets a beautiful female, Jessica, who is also wearing an ank necklace. Logan leads her to his couch and wants to get busy but she tells him no. No? Lady if you don't run them cheeks, but she refuses. She tells Logan that she was sad and put herself into the circuit by mistake. She tells him one of her friends was killed earlier by Sandman but Logan tells her he only terminates and not kills. After finding out that Logan is a Sandman, she questions why running is wrong. Logan pulls his gun on her and warns her that if she is a runner then he will terminate her. Francis then comes in with two other girls and Jessica leaves. The next day, Logan and Francis take evidence to the computer, Francis deposits his and the computer teleports them away. However when Logan deposits his evidence the computer does not respond. The computer makes Logan take a seat and questions him about the ank symbol. Logan has no clue what it means and the computer tells him that it is a symbol for a secret group whose members help the runners find sanctuary, a mythic place where they will be safe to live out the rest of their lives. Logan learns that the Sandman have lost 1056 runners this way. The computer instructs Logan to find sanctuary and destroy it, a mission which it code names Procedure 03303, which he must keep secret from the other Sandman by becoming a runner. Then, the computer changes the color of his life clock to flashing red, suddenly making him four years closer to Carousel. Scared, he asks if the four years will be restored to him when his mission is completed but receives no response. Logan then picks up the ank symbol and leaves. He heads over to Francis who is relaxing in the pool. Logan asks him if he has ever seen a person be actually renewed but Francis blows him off. Logan then meets with Jessica, explaining that he wants to become a runner. Logan then shows her the ank symbol he got from the runner and begs her to help him but Jessica tells him she cannot. Logan follows Jessica to see her meet with her friends and they tell her a Sandman knowing about Sanctuary is very dangerous. She then meets with Logan, telling him that she will help. She brings him through the city where her friends follow them looking for a chance to grab him. He gets a notification about a runner and Jessica insists on coming with him. They head to an abandoned quadrant to search for the runner where they spot a woman in the distance but are surrounded when some wild kids appear. Logan begins to shoot at the kids and someone needs to give this guy paid administrative leave or something. They encounter the runner, who turns out to be a woman who is scared about being terminated. Logan calms her down, telling her that he will not harm her but Francis has followed them and overhears the conversation. When Logan leaves, Francis takes the woman out and calls for cleanup. Jessica, seeing how he helped the runner, confesses that she was leading him to be killed but has chosen now to really help him since he has proved himself. She warns though, that because he is a Sandman, her friends will not trust him and Logan decides to get a face change. They head over to a cosmetic store where he meets with a doctor who gives him the choice between a face job or a full body job, so you could possibly get a hand job here as well. Logan lays on the operating table and the doctor gets a suspicious phone call then turns on the lasers which Logan barely escapes from. The doctor tries to push him back under the table however Logan overpowers him and the lasers carve him up. Logan then runs into Francis but Logan knocks him out and runs off with Jessica. Francis wakes up and begins to give chase, but they lose him when they find a secret door and escape down a long stairway. Jessica leads Logan to the underground runner entrance. He quickly signals to the Sandman base using a device, before they meet the runners who use strange poles that shoot white stuff in their faces. After convincing the other runners that Logan is really a runner, they allow him to pass and direct him to where he can leave the city to get to Sanctuary. 
the Sandmen then attack, and Logan starts shooting at the same guys that he called while trying to escape, somebody take his gun please. Francis tries to stop him, reminding him that he is a Sandman, but Logan tells him to stay out of it before shooting and injuring him and running off, they follow the runner's directions and get to a doorway with Francis hot in pursuit. They realize that the Ankh necklace is actually a key but Jessica fumbles and drops hers, but Logan uses the pendant he took and escaped the city, Francis is able to find Jessica's key that she dropped and follows closely behind. They make their way onto a lift, which Logan accidentally activates and it takes them up to the surface and they end up in a frozen cave. They decide to take of their clothes, why? Just because, and meet a robot named Box who looks like a large salt shaker on wheels. It tells them that it has fresh food to offer to them but Logan wants to know where the sanctuary is. The robot leads them to an ice gallery of runners that it has captured and turned into food for the city. It tries to freeze them as well and Logan somehow gets caught by the salt shaker and they end up destroying the entire cave. The two escape the cave and see the sun for the first time on a green screen, but they don't even know what they are looking at. Jessica figures that they're outside like a genius. Hot on their heels, Francis makes his way through the torn down cave. The two walk along a riverbed and stop for a rest. Jessica sees a lizard and begins to freak out saying she hates outside. I guess women hating lizards is just genetic. They find a river and go for an unnecessary swim so Jessica can take off her clothes and realize that the crystals on their palms have turned clear. They walk and come upon the ruins of Washington DC. They explore the abandoned city and enter the state senate chamber when they come upon an old man living with many cats. They are shocked as they have never seen a person past 30 years old. They tell the old man about their city and how they got there, but he has no idea what they are talking about. They look at his hands to see that he has no crystal in his palm. The old man recounts what he remembers about what happened to humanity outside the city, and Logan realizes that sanctuary has always been a myth. Logan then turns up and grabs Jessica, how he tracked them through all that bush, only Allah knows. Logan then comes face to face with Francis, who is one dedicated Sandman. Logan tries to tell him that the city is all a lie but Francis just wants to kick his ass. The two go at it and Logan ends up wounding Francis and he dies in Logan's arms. After burying him, the two spend the night and Logan wants to return to the city to free everyone else, but Jessica just wants to leave them to their fate as long as she is with him. Logan then convinces the old man to come with them back to the city and they make their journey back. They come upon a water system that leads into the city, Logan tells the old man to wait outside while they dive down. They come up inside the city, while a carousel ride is about to take place. Logan and Jessica begin to shout at the people, telling them that they don't have to die but they are captured by the Sandmen. Logan is held captive and the computer questions if he has found sanctuary. It begins to scan his mind. Logan insists, there is no sanctuary. What he had found was old ruins exposed, an old man, and that the missing runners were all frozen. But these answers are not accepted by the computer. The computer begins to overload and shuts down. Logan fights off the guards and begins to shoot everything that moves. The city then begins to fall apart as people begin to run for cover. Logan, Jessica, and the other citizens flee the ruined city. Once outside, the citizens see the old man, the first human they have met who is older than 30, proving that they can, indeed, live their lives much longer. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.